Welcome back to our conversation with James Pindle, the ace political reporter of the Boston Globe, who's been all over this presidential race. So the last poll that I saw of Massachusetts mm -hmm. with the mass primary coming up on March 3rd, it, it, it's, a, it's irrelevant because it was way back in October, right. but nonetheless, it had Elizabeth Warren, the home state senator, over Biden and Sanders, 33-18-13. Now, this was before Pete Buttigieg's rise, before Mike Bloomberg's entrance. Is Warren in trouble here at home? And most importantly, before her decline. In October, right. she was a national frontrunner at some point. I mean, she never beat Biden, but she was ahead in Iowa and in New Hampshire in October. And I think it was one of the first polls where she actually took the lead here. She, Biden was largely the, the frontrunner. That's right. And Sanders was before that. Um, I think the most interesting question about the Massachusetts primary is, will Elizabeth Warren be in it? Um, if this is not going well for her campaign, either after Nevada, which is in a few days, uh, next weekend, or if, it's, uh, if she's heading to South Carolina and this is not happening, is she going to uh, be willing to be put up with embarrassment of losing her home state? And what does that mean? This was a key reason why Kamala Harris, by the way, dropped out when she did because it was two weeks before the California filing period. And she was worried that she might be embarrassed if she couldn't go all the way. This is what kind of bruised Marco Rubio, frankly, in 2016 when Donald Trump beats him in his home state. It, it, it is a calculation. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, Mike Bloomberg obviously is building something in this state. He grew up in Medford as we all know. Um, he is at a, a very smart team and probably at this point the biggest team if you don't include the national staff that is uh, here for, for Warren's campaign. Uh, what about Bloomberg? Is this legit? I mean, is this, this rise has been, you know, albeit purchased by an unprecedented TV ad buy, uh, but the campaign itself, I've interacted with it. It's very well organized. They get right back to you, and they're sharp. Uh, he has a formidable track record with warts on it, as we're learning. Uh, how far can this go, James? Let's, look, let's talk about this three ways. Okay. One, there's the theory of the case for Mike Bloomberg, why this would work, yeah. and what has to happen with the field of, of the rest of the Democrats. In theory, it's going perfectly for him. Bernie right. Sanders elevated, but only sort of elevated. The moderates can't figure it out. You know, the adult will come in with all the money and he will figure it out. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. The execution on can he build something like that in th off the theory? He's doing it. I mean, it is incredible. He has 2,100 staffers now in 30 states. Um, he already hired, he's hiring general election staffers. He just announced what he's doing in New Hampshire the day after the New Hampshire primary for the general election. He's obviously spending all the kinds of money. His name recognition is going up. He's gaining even support among African Americans, up to 22% in national polls. Then there's the third part. We have theory the execution, and then when they have the Mike Tyson rule, right? The Mike Tyson rule is that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Mm -hmm. And I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen when he actually has to engage with others. And we may see that for the first time next week in, his, in the debate. He, he technically it may, I don't know when we air this, in terms of the polling, he may or may not qualify. We expect him to qualify for this debate. Well, then there's another one in almost immediately following That's that exactly he almost right. certainly will qualify for. Do you really think he's going to be a shrinking violet on the debate stage? Well, he has been untested on the debate stage. He hasn't really done this before. Uh, he hasn't really had major opponents. Meanwhile, his opponents have now debated nine times. Yeah. And can we just throw something in there? Okay. You've had a little peek in the Bloomberg world. Do you think, he, it, when you're in Bloomberg world, it's such a world around Mr. Bloomberg, do you think he's going to really get critical advice and debate prep? Sir, that was a really bad answer. Mm. Uh, he seems to take advice, but he needs a lot of it uh, if he's going to survive this. Warren definitely wants this fight. Sanders definitely wants this fight. He's a sitting billionaire right there. Wow. Never a dull moment. That's right. James Pindle. Okay. Thank you very yep. much. Always good to see you. Absolutely. Come back again soon. Me. And that's all our time for this morning. Right.